It's right there. That was a good shot. Squared up, shoulders, follow through. And it was a balanced shot. They turned the ball over as well. That wasn't a quick, hurried shot. It takes a while. I remember my freshman year, I was the leading scorer for my team at the University of Maryland. Buck Williams had already gone pro third to draft. And Lefty lived and died with a lot of the shots that I took. <laughs> and you can't really have a conscience if, if Foster is not worried about what he misses or makes. In and out as he looked for another three. I think Foster, I think uh, Lefty might have died a little more than lived that year. I'm trekking with the young fella. I'm understanding what he's doing. Alden lost his footing. And that's a traveling violation. Mark Few thought he was fouled. And that might have been what threw him off balance. Different from the Portland game when Gonzaga played. Remember the first three possessions, the game was over. In hand, remember it was a one-point game at halftime. For the Broncos, they've been able to make shots and come down and keep Gonzaga off balance. That's why they're in this game and have the lead. Again, who's going to score for the Broncos? They got to trust the offense. Nice look underneath, and Tressolini draws the foul. That play made by Perry Petty. A simple little pick and roll. Well, we were saying, outside, outside of Foster, who can get his own shot, for everyone else, they've got to trust the offense with a good play right here, misdirection, and a drop-off. Now, for Tressolini, he's got to be strong, tuck that ball into his hip, and then shove. the last thing he's got to show is when he's getting ready to shoot it. He's exposing it too much for the defense. Holden called to the foul. That's his first. Well, it's not like Santa Clara hasn't been here before. They're 14 and 15 on the season. But of their 15 losses, 13 have been by eight or less, seven have been by four or less, and they've had 12 losses where it's come down to the last couple of possessions. In those 12 losses, they've had a double-digit lead or a lead in the last minute of nine of the 12. So they have played a ton of close games. They just haven't gotten over the top and won any of them. Well, Terry Keating was saying that now for his freshmen, because he's got three freshmen playing big minutes, They've got an idea on what they want to do. Pay attention to detail, not turn the ball over, get the right shot. Mark Few called that timeout from the bench as Micah Downs had nowhere to go. 12 27 to go in regulation time. Number 17 in a tussle on the road. Showcase presented by T Row Price, part of Judgment Week here on ESPN. And Adrian takes us inside the play. Well, Foster has been there, bread and butter while John Bryant's out, and he comes down here under control. He's a freshman. He looks for a shot. Watch him right here in the corner. He's going to come up off a double screen, but you'll appreciate the patience. They're letting the play develop. The shot clock's been moving for a while. This is their second option. Look at this burst right here where he comes off the screen. His defender is back, and he's into his shot. No chance of blocking it. Very good shot. That's what you want to do consistently, but again, this is iffy right now because Foster is learning on the job. He's got 20 points, 8 of 17 from the field, in double figures for the 20th time this season, and the 10th time he's gone over 20. Actually, he's now gone over 20 in four of the last five games for Santa Clara. Shotgun, or shot clock, pardon me, down to seven <laughs> for this shotgun offense. Shotgun, okay. Football, anyone? And they realize. <laughs> I felt's got a shot clock and one. It goes to zero. It's a shot clock violation. Now I'm seeing something. This is the second time that Gonzaga has fallen asleep on a shot clock violation. That's that's a good call. Never should have happened. Now for their aspirations, they want to go far in the tournament. They want to get a three or four seeding. You've got to pay attention and not give away possessions like that. Mark Few a moment ago had the look on his face of a coach whose team had a shot clock violation coming out of a timeout. Well, remember, this is a character game for them because they've already wrapped up regular season dominance. You understand what paintball is. You're going to come into a paintball season. The quarter pounder was cheap. Ben Wallace out for a while. And the Stars are out tonight. Ronnie Turiaf taking in Gonzaga at Santa Clara. All part of Judgment Week here on ESPN. Under 12 minutes to go. A three-point lead 
for Santa Clara, and they have brought the big guy back in. John Bryant has the ball, playing with three fouls. Petty with the left hand. And Bryant has to be careful. Almost went over the back of Micah Downs and picked up a cheap one. Nice feed inside. Heitfeld from Dimitri Goodson. John Bryant was saying that would be a challenge for him because he's not a natural runner. He's a grinder. He comes out and he doesn't run the court as good as Heifelt. So Dowdell will have to take him until he can get back. Foul called on Downs. That's his second. He's the first player to pick up second personal foul for Gonzaga. So they have no one in foul trouble. Micah is a legitimate 6'8". I'm one of those optional 6'8". 6'7 <laughs> and a half. You know, you familiar with that, Bob? <laughs> kind of like how I'm, I'm an optional 215. <laughs> a kick called on Goodson. Yeah, but see, you play hockey in your off time. So well, I'm yeah. impressed. The definition of a stay-at-home defenseman. <laughs> oh, goodness. I Goodness. skate up the <laughs> rink about as fast as John Bryant runs up the court. You think I can play with you guys? Come out there. What <laughs> position would I be? I'd like to see it. <laughs> Bryant, good position inside. Yes. I'd like to see a well-run play, and they finally got that. John was able to use that big body and get position at point blank range. Vincent pulls up. Downs, offensive rebound, can't hit, and inside it's Dowdell. Right now the Broncos are showing a, a toughness. You want to get a good shot in this possession. Foster, no good, and Downs has the rebound. For a moment, Gonzaga had numbers, and now it's Goodson. They made the switch now. John Bryant's got to check Michael, Micah Downs. I'd isolate him and run the offense through whoever he's checking. Nice steal by Rayhan. And it's off Rayhan out of bounds. Well, that Santa Clara bench thought that the ball was actually knocked out by Gray. Well, you love the effort right there. The quick hands, the running in traffic. And this is nothing but effort. It's what you call a hustle play. Ooh, that might have gone off the foot yeah, of Goodson. They missed the call on that one. Come on over to our screen here. A break for Gonzaga as Dimitri Goodson actually kicked that ball out of bounds. Heitfeld draws the foul. That's the fourth foul on Ben Dowdell. Judgment Week in men's college basketball continues on ESPN this Saturday, first at noon. In the Big East, it's Georgetown against the Wildcats. Number 12, Villanova and Scotty Reynolds take on the Hoyas. And then at 9 Eastern, out to the Pac-10. Number 19, UCLA taking on the Golden Bears of Cal. Men's college basketball, all part of Judgment Week on ESPN. Afternoon and evening this Saturday. Now you're seeing strategy here. For the last two minutes, John Bryant's been coming in and out, especially on the offensive end, so he can occupy space with those three fouls. And this is the first time Ira Brown will be coming in after this free throw by Highfield. A back tap by Downs. Gray has the loose ball. Downs from way outside. Can't hit. And the rebound in traffic to Kevin Foster. So Santa Clara holds on to the two-point lead. Past the midway point of the second half, a matchup in the West Coast Conference between Gonzaga, undefeated at 12-0 in the conference, and Santa Clara, straightaway three. Off the mark for Calvin Johnson. Bob Schuzer and Adrian Branch at the Levy Center just outside of San Jose here in Santa Clara, and it has been nip and tuck all night between these two teams. Now for John Bryan, he's got to have a soft. He got away with a hook. The follow by Heitfeld off the miss from Bolden. Yeah. But for Bolden, he got away with a hook before that, that missed shot. For the Broncos, they've got to keep their composure, have a calm about them. Step back three. Air ball from Foster. 
Harry Keating went ballistic looking for basket interference on the last putback by Josh Heitfeld. And does Bolden hook on his way to the basket? Well, right, right here in traffic, not here, but on the spin move, that was a hold right there with that thigh.